Hey guys, how's it going? My name is John. Welcome to my Gamestore 81 show. I'm really excited to announce my involvement with a, a really cool gaming project coming out next year, 2016. It's called the Retro Video Game System, or simply known as the Retro VGS. This is the first cartridge-based console in nearly 20 years. In fact, the last cartridge-based console to come out, hit the market, was the Nintendo 64, believe it or not. So I, it's kind of interesting, kind of taking a step back to old school, and I think the name's fitting, calling it Retro. Uh, and the idea for the system, guys, is to release uh, not only games that you may be familiar with, but also new games or you know sequels to old IPs that they may have never had. Uh, I've seen a list of games that they're working on, and I've seen the list of people who are involved with this project. And I can tell you guys, you guys will be blown away when this is officially announced who's working on this. Uh, this is actually the guy behind this project, Mike Kennedy, great guy. He's also... Uh, is head in charge of GameGavel.com and Retro Magazine. That's a great magazine. Check out ReadRetro.com for more information with that if you guys are curious. But uh, this is a really interesting project. They've been working on it for a while. My involvement with the system is more on a publishing side of things. So my team and I at Collector Vision Games are publishing games for it. In fact, the game that will be packed in with the system is a game that my team and I are working on with the help of a really, really great designer, game designer, his name's Keith, and fantastic guy. It's called The Adventures of the Tiny Knight. Uh, so in this video at the end, I'm going to show you some gameplay. Keep in mind, it's a work in progress, so it's not obviously the final game, but it'll give you certainly an idea. In the gameplay itself, there, there's no audio, but I'm going to show you the intro of the game so you can kind of see where we're going with, with this game. I think you'll really enjoy it. So I'm going to show you some pictures of what the Retro VGS looks like, and you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, that looks a lot like an Atari Jaguar. Well, you, probably, you are correct, actually. Uh, what they did, they're pretty smart. It's pretty ingenious is they purchased the old Atari Jaguar molding for the consoles uh, themselves, a shell. And they're going to reuse those shells, and make new shells uh, for the system. However, the insides are going to be completely different than the Jaguar. So basically, it's going to come with uh, the ability to play games graphically from Atari graphics to anywhere from the PlayStation 1 graphics. Uh, also, uh, it's going to come with a number of library games available when it's launched, of course. It's going to come packed with the system, some controllers, a packing game. If you pre-order the system when they officially announce it, the Tiny Adventures of Tiny Knight will be a gold cart, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, and there, you know, even though it's retro, there are some modern elements to the system as well. But there's not going to be much online functionality to it because it's going to be retro, <laughs> you know. Uh, but the game lineup again, I think you guys will be surprised. And I'm really curious before I show you the video of the gameplay that we're working on. I'm curious if you guys think there's a market for a new cartridge-based console. Would you be interested in purchasing something like that or maybe finding out more information about it? Uh, if you guys are curious in finding out more information, they did launch a Facebook page. I'll put a link to the Retro VGS Facebook page below. I encourage you guys to check that out. If you guys are curious on some other games that my team and I are working on at Collector Vision Games, I'll put a link below to our Twitter and Facebook as well. Uh, but I'm curious what you guys think of it. I personally think uh, this is a really interesting idea. I think there is a market for people, retro game lovers, who want to kind of go back to old school. And I can't really, I'm not at liberty to tell you as far as pricing, how much this thing's going to cost or games, but I can tell you that th it's going to be very, very reasonable. Uh, definitely, you're not going to look at the price and be like, wow, that's really expensive, especially considering what you're going to get with the bundle itself uh, with the controllers, packing game, and the consoles. So anyway, without any further ado, let's take a closer look at the adventures of the Tiny Knight. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, thanks for subscribing and liking this video. That helps a lot. And let's take a closer look.
Guys, keep in mind that this game is a work in progress, what I'm showing you. So this certainly isn't the final project. And this is just a demo stage. This isn't the first level. As you can see there in the world map, you can actually choose which world you want to go to or which part of the world you can go to. This is a blacksmith. You can use gold and stones that you collect throughout the game every stage to purchase weapon upgrades, uh, magic upgrades, armor upgrades, etc. This game takes inspiration from games like Mega Man, Ninja Gaiden, Wonder Boy 3, even Castlevania to an extent. Here are the items select. Uh, this demo has them all available right now currently. Uh, there's going to be more. But this is the this is kind of a magic sword, fire sword. Notice that the magic is depleting mm -hmm. the very bottom every time you use it. You can collect vials as you kill enemies to replenish that. Other items are winged toes or shoes that definitely will come in handy to do a double jump, which will allow you to access platforms that you may not be able to access uh, without them. You get hearts and stuff like that. Uh, notice that there's also this. This is a flying Pegasus. This is pretty cool. Notice how I'm flying. I'm using magic as well. And there's hidden areas in the game as well. You can collect uh, different weapons and stuff like that. So here's a, a hidden chest above the castle that you won't be able to access without the, the winged Pegasus. Obviously, there's no music right now in the game, so just keep that in mind. There's a gem that you collect. Again, I can use that towards a blacksmith later on as you collect that. There'll be more other and different enemies in the games and different levels of it, so... Different items do different things. The shield you use to push enemies or, or jump off enemies, which definitely comes in handy. There's also a non-winged Pegasus, which I'll show you here in a second, that you can use to go through the brush without being harmed, and you can use it to kind of joust your enemies. Here's the shield I was talking about before. Here's the Pegasus. This game was initially supposed to be a Super Nintendo game that we're working on, but we decided to port this to the Retro VGS. Notice how I'm going through the brush without getting hurt. Without that, I wouldn't be able to do that. Just some kind of slime enemies in the game. There will be a password feature in Tiny Night, so you know every time you pass a stage, you'll get a password. So there isn't necessarily a, it's not going to be a battery in the cart, so you can save it, but you'll have a password, which will come in handy for sure. This game is going to get challenging later on. Here's a. F this is probably my favorite magic item. This is the fire sword. But notice how how fast my magic is depleting, using that. Use the weapons to break down these walls. Here's another hidden chest. Get a whole bunch of items, replenish some of my stuff. Anyways, you guys can definitely get the idea of the gameplay so far. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on the progress of this game and other ones that we're working on for both the Retro VGS and others. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. I post a new video every Tuesday. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, my website, GameStreet81.com. And if you also want to purchase a t-shirt, they're available at chopshopgoods.com that helps support the show. Thanks for watching.